to be here this morning to partake in our first mantle and impartation service for the year 2021. Don't stand there idle. Lift up your voice. Give God praise. Give God a wave, wave, wave unto Jesus, saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for our year of uncommon favor. Show gratitude unto God for what he has done for you, your family, and your church. In the mighty name of Jesus, with the thunderous clap offering, let's welcome our praise team in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. You want to lift those hands towards heaven, bless in the name of the Lord for such a wonderful morning. Come on, bless his name. Open your mouth. Say something to the Lord. It's a blessing to be in his presence. We give you all the glory, Jesus. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. Oh, and you, you reign in righteousness forever. Over all.
up to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. your voice and give Jesus a mighty shout of praise. Hallelujah. Are you excited to be here? Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Let's praise him. Hallelujah. Hey. Start again, start again. Hey.
praise him.
style donors. People of God, in conclusion, a man of God, Bishop Oyedepo, said that people are in need because they don't know what they need. People work so hard for money because they think money is what they need, yet they do not have it. They do not know that favor is what they need. If you are favored, prosperity will come your way. Therefore, do what will bring you into favor. That is by humbling yourself in the sight of God so that you can receive favor in his sight and in the sight of man. Serve God in his house through soul winning and stewardship so that the favor of God, which passes all understanding, shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. In fact, Daddy has outlined 15 key things that can provoke favor into your life. But if you don't get this book, if you don't get a copy of this book, you may lack some information. It's information and understanding that will make you outstanding. So grab a copy at the bookshop and your life and your destiny will never be the same again. God bless you. favor i want to thank god for the life of our father and our mother please help me appreciate god for their lives with a clap and on their behalf i want to welcome you all to this morning's service let's kindly make ears for the following faith cathedral announcement operation rescue our new soul winning campaign is on course from january to march ending under this mandate each member is expected to bring at least three souls to church amen in view of this, we'll be meeting here this and every Saturday at 8, 9 a.m. for outreach and evangelism in Awudome, Kaneshi, and Abosokai areas. Vision Conference 2021. Our maiden vision conference will take place in the Faith Cathedral from Tuesday the 9th of February to Friday the 12th of February 2021. Remember to pray and prepare towards this mega conference, which is expected to empower you for exploits this year. Our annual Vows Day program dubbed One Night with Love is going to take place on Sunday, the 14th of February at 7 p.m. Make sure you invite somebody to this love banquet with Jesus. Finally, Daddy is meeting the following groups after service this afternoon. All church workers are meeting at 12.30 p.m. Cell leaders are meeting at 2. And all pastors are meeting at 5 p.m. May God bless you and have a wonderful experience in this morning's service. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, sweet spirit of God. Indeed, we are perfect in God. And we are very complete in God. And because of that, we are moving from glory to glory in every area of our lives. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
Somebody give Jesus a big hand offering. And I want you to help me. Let's honor God's servant, our Father. We salute our Father and our Mother in the house this morning. Now, in this prophetic mantle and impartation service, I have the privilege and the honor to bring you good news. Talking about testimonies from this exalted altar. And I know that very soon after this service, your testimony shall also be read. Give Jesus another big hand offering. We have a very powerful testimony coming from Sister Matilda, thanking the Lord for supernatural provision of 60,000 Ghana cities. She says, in November 2020, I pray to God, believing him for $50,000 to settle my debts and pay my bills and clients and also for living expenses. By grace, on Thursday 14th of January, while praying, the Holy Spirit told me to go on Instagram and check out Holy Hill Chapel Assemblies of God. When I opened the church's page, the Holy Spirit instructed me to come for the service that evening, and I obeyed. After the service, I had the opportunity to meet Papa, and he prayed with me and declared that money should be released into my business within seven days. And people of God, just four days after daddy had prayed for me, I received an amount of 60,000 Ghana cities into my business just like that. By grace, I have been able to pay some of my clients and some of my debts as well. Thank you, Jesus, for this amazing and speedy miracle. God is indeed in Holy Hill Chapel, and therefore we give him all the glory. Somebody give Jesus a resounding clap offering. Whilst you also prepare for your own encounter this morning, Brother Joshua is also thanking God for supernatural admission. He says, I wrote my West African Senior Secondary School Certificate Examination in 2019. In school, I majored in visual arts with an elective in chemistry. Now, when my results came out, I had scored an F in chemistry and a D in integrated science. My mother told me to write the Novdeck, but I refused because two of my elder sisters had written it, and I did not want to continue the trend. In faith, I applied to one of the technical universities to read building technology in July 2020, even though I knew the lowest grade to be considered for an admission was a C+. People of God, in August 2020, I received my admission letter to read computer networking in the Faculty of Applied Sciences. Let's appreciate the Lord better for what he's doing 
He said, this is an area I was greatly interested in. A pass of C plus and a higher in science or science related subject is required to be admitted into this course. But the favor of the Lord spoke for me. I had a D and an F in all my science related subjects, yet I supernaturally gained admission. Not only was I admitted, but my name was the first on the class list. Can you imagine that? I thank God for this amazing testimony and the faith teachings we receive in this house. Glory be to the Lord. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus once again. Miss Edina is also here thanking God. He said, the God of Holy Hill delivered my son from nine years of mental affliction. She says, in 2000, a prophecy was given concerning me that I would travel to UK and work there as a nurse. And truly, the prophecy was fulfilled. In 2003, a door opened for me and I traveled, leaving my son and daughter with a friend here in Ghana. Four years later, when I returned from the UK, I noticed an unusual change in my son's attitude, which I found difficult to understand. I later discovered that someone in the company where he was working had influenced him to convert from Christianity to Islam. Consequently, his life began to go in the wrong direction. He started engaging in all kinds of immoral deeds, including smoking Indian hemp and his mental health began to deteriorate. Being a loving mother, I did all I could to bring an end to my son's predicament. I took him to the psychiatric hospital for mental, medical attention while praying and trusting God for his intervention, but the situation worsened. For nine years, I had to live with my own son who could not recognize me as a mother because of his mental problem. Every night, I had to find a way to tame him because he became so violent and hostile towards me. So in order to put him to sleep, I gave him Valium, that's a sleeping tablet, every night throughout the nine years. At a point, the situation became so unbearable that I decided to poison him to death so that I would be free and live long. So I went to a shop at Makola Market to buy DDT to give him secretly. Surprisingly, the DDT got missing in my house. I searched everywhere, yet I could not find it. So I returned to the shop where I bought it to buy another one. Strangely, the shop owner refused to sell it to me despite my insistence. I was, however, so desperate that I argued loudly with him and it even caught the attention of bypassers. In the end, the man refused to sell the DDT, the poison to me. So I returned home disappointed. One week later, one of my cousins, who is a member of another AG church, asked me to come to Holy Hill Chapel. And she directed me to see one of Papa's pastors for help. So I came to the church on Friday, 13th April 2018, and I met a pastor I was asked to see. He ministered God's word to me and prayed with me and asked me to get communion wine from the bookshop. And he told me to return on Sunday so that he would introduce me to daddy. That night, for the first time in nine years, when I got home, my son asked me, Mommy, what did you bring me? I replied, I brought communion wine. Give Jesus a clap of him. The first step towards the turning point in this man's life. He said, would you like to drink some? I gave him 1.5 liter bottle of full of communion wine and he drank it throughout the night. In the morning, he began to feel something moving in his body and I knew the communion had started working. On Sunday, 15th April 2018, I returned to the church with my daughter and we were able to see daddy. He prayed with us and gave us a bottle of anointing oil to put in my son's food every day. He also gave us a handkerchief and told us to put it under my son's pillow and that he would have an encounter that would break the demonic siege against his life. So that handkerchief was a mantle. It was after I met daddy and went home that I found the DDT in my washing machine and I heard a voice telling me to throw it away because my problem was going to be over soon. 
once I had met the servant of God. Now, when I got home, I cut my son's mattress and planted the mantle in it and trusted the God of Reverend Dr. Bempa to work a miracle. My son slept on, that, on the bed that day, and I testified to the glory of God that that day my son has recovered from the nine years mental illness and began behaving normally after he slept on the mantle. I am grateful to God for delivering my family and I from this affliction through his anointed servant, Reverend Dr. Bempa. Jesus is indeed Lord. And that is how every affliction upon your life will come to an end tonight or this morning. Put your hands together for the Lord as I quickly invite the following people to come and share with us live what God has done in their lives. Let's receive Miss Gloria Ando to come and tell us how she got healed of glaucoma and cataract after three years. Let's receive her with a round of applause. Uncommon favor. I walk through open doors. Uncommon favor. I walk through open doors. My name is Gloria Boatsma Ando. I'm here to say, I want to appreciate my mother and my father in the house. I want to testify of the goodness of God. And my mother had um, glaucoma and cataract for three years. And every time she visited the hospital, she needs to take shots in the eye. So she visited me last year, 26th of January, which was the mantle service. So I came over with her to, for the program. So when, we, we were, we, um, when they shared the mantle and we were going home, she told, I told her that when she gets home, she should just place the mantle on the eye because on Wednesday, that will be like two days' time, she will be going to the doctor to take another shot. That cost her 700 Ghana CDs. So she did that and decreed that it will be the end of the shots of the um, injection that she takes in the eye. So the next day, she went to the hospital. Glory be to God. The doctor checked everywhere. The cataract, the glaucoma, everything had vanished. Somebody celebrate Jesus. And it's a great testimony. And today is actually the day that is going to happen again. I want to entreat everyone to partake in this. Take the mantle, use it. For every problem, everything that you're going through, the mantle is going to speak on your behalf. God, the said man of God has declared. And since it has happened for my mom, it's going to happen for everyone. Thank it you. It is certainly much. going to happen again. Somebody celebrate the Lord once again as I invite Sister Sylvia to also come and share with us her healing of skin rash. Oh, come on, favor. I walk through open door. I want to thank God of Holy Hill for this miracle. The full name, please. My name is Sylvia Akpene Kluche. It started in July when I realized I developed some rashes all over my body. It was so itching that I can't sleep at night. So during a um, season of abundance, uh, a lady came to testify how she danced with her mantle and read the book of Chronicles, Signs and Wonders. So I keyed into it. That night when I went home, I decided not to sleep. And then daddy also told us that the time we can speak to God is at dawn. So I woke up at dawn and I danced in my room. And then I decided to pray and tell God that wherever this infirmity is coming from, because I've gone to so many hospitals, they have given me so many uh, medicines, but it's still not going. And I believe that he's going to heal me. So that, after that, I slept. I placed a mantle under my pillow and I slept. In the morning, I decided to practice it again. I placed the mantle in the water, my bathroom water, and I poured communion wine and oil. And I told God that. He said by his tribes, we are healed. And he's the greatest physician. And then he's a balm of Gilead. And then as, as I'm a daughter of Reverend Kojo Boatim Bempa, this thing has to disappear. Whoever is behind this thing, I send it back to sender in Jesus' name. So I took my bath 
and something did so during the day I realized that I'm not feeling any itching anymore and I was like I thank God because I, I have tried so many things I've taken so many medications but it's still not working so I want to thank God of Holy Hill wow. for giving me this great wow. testimony I want to thank God daddy and mommy thank you so much for giving me this opportunity so for all these amazing testimonies just let's celebrate Jesus once again Hallelujah. So this is just one of the songs that by God's grace uh, we've been able to put together for our uncommon favor thing. So you want to enjoy it and be blessed. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus.
It's on the road. Come on. You are prophesying into your future. What you say is what you get. Favor in the morning. your hands this is our church song it's not somebody's song lift your hands and we are singing the scriptures live Through open doors, I'm walking through open doors. I'm come on, neighbor. My season of blessing is here. Favor in the morning, favor in the night. Heaven is so open, blessing is so falling. Lift your two hands, begin to thank him. Lift your voice, thanking him for a miracle that is coming your way. Lift your voice. You came here with expectation. Your expectation shall never be cut off. Lift your hands and thank him. Prophetic mantle service. Someone's life is about to turn around in a higher dimension. Siyama niya katore makataya manose Bandili mi katoli abranya kato Sigiya Raka hiko makataya Raba ba 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 by television you are welcome to the impartation service i want you to follow what we are doing get the handkerchief i'm going to pray over it during the service your life and destiny will never be the same whatever you are watching for god bless you you listening in Ho 105.1 Ho FM God bless all the people in Ho and those of you watching by EBN television welcome to our impartation and mantle service your life and destiny will never 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 be the same Holy Hill give a wave offering to those watching on television all over the place it's going to be a very powerful thing take your seat and give the Lord a shout of praise There are days and there are certain days. Today is not an ordinary day. 
because many destinies that have become question marks will be changed into exclamation marks the people that used to ask you where is your god will say lead us to your god because god is going to change your life don't let anybody stand if the room gets filled fill every place with a seat we can even sit on the floor we came to jesus you can even fill up to where this machine is just bring chairs for people to sit down um there is too much trouble in this world we need jesus to attend to us glory to jesus now today is a very special day because it's going to open your destiny for 2021 and I want you to know that 2021 will be a good year for you. Yeah. What you believe is what you become. Destiny is a function of your perception. And don't let anybody perceive for you. Let the Bible perceive for you. Everybody sees things from different point of view. But the Bible point of view is the right point of view. When the prophet came to David's father's house, he wasn't considered. His father disqualified him. Even the prophet disqualified him. So God told the prophet, man does not look like God. God looks at the heart. There are many of you here that people have perceived. They look at you and they concluded. Nothing good is going to come out of you. But I came here with the word of the Lord in my mouth. That as far as God is concerned, you are the champion of that family in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, looking through the mirror of God's word, all other mirrors give you a wrong image about yourself. But this mirror, if you want to know who you are, forget about what your teacher told you in the mathematics class. Look into this mirror. The Bible said this is a perfect law of liberty. Anything that is not based on this thing will not stand, it will crumble. So sometimes I tell people who say they are rich, I say, listen to me. This money that you say you have, are you covenantly positioned? If you are not positioned in the covenant, you are not the first one the devil has seen before. The devourer will come and crush you. But if you are positioned in the covenant, David said, I'm beyond. Now I am old. I have never seen covenant righteous men. Who are on the floor or their children begging for bread from today every bad story that has been trending in your family it has ended today in the name of jesus now we are here to go through one of the kingdom mysteries now there are mysteries and there are stories in the bible those that give attention to the stories receive information but those that have access to the mysteries receive transformation that's why you can be in church for donkey years your life will not change because getting closer to a restaurant does not satisfy you until you enter and you eat the food you can even be the one cooking the food and you are not eating and so passing behind a restaurant does not satisfy your test so you have to understand that there are mysteries and there are stories many are busy telling the stories but it is the mysteries that change life and one of such mysteries of the kingdom is the mystery of the mantle and importation there are people that say that um, 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 all men are the same i don't believe that because the bible never teaches that when they spoke against moses he said listen i speak to people in dreams but this man I speak to him face to face he's not in your class so there are men who have customized their name as they walk with God and because of that certain special gifts have been given to them God has given them certain graces and when that grace is impacted upon your life your life changes without sweat and one of such mysteries to discuss today is the mystery of the mantle and impartation now this is basically done to transfer graces or divine giftings james 1 17 says every good and perfect gift cometh from above 
every good and perfect gift coming from above so you can never see good you can never be perfected it's not through any other means except heaven gives it to you today somebody will live here with something from heaven and to change your destiny so the kingdom of god is the kingdom of grace grace means divine giftings divine endowment divine enablement when god wants to favor you he gives you grace and it is grace that makes the difference it is the grace of god upon your life that makes the difference the greatness of every destiny is determined by the grace upon that destiny so you cannot be greater than the grace that god has given you you cannot be greater than the grace that god has given you and sometimes in the bible grace is referred to as some of the synonyms that talk about grace you look at words like mercy and then favor is also one of them but now we are not today we are not doing we are not doing exegesis here we want raw impartation and raw power healing miracles signs and wonders so the greatness of every destiny as we said is a function of grace great work or to do anything great is also a function of grace success is a function of grace so when apostle paul was speaking everybody knew he was a great man of god working miracles signs and wonders first corinthians 15 10 paul said but by the grace of god i am what i am look at it are you who you are because of grace have you recognized that it is the grace of god and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain but i labored more abundantly than they all yet not i but the grace of god which was with me therefore what is grace because today god is going to distribute grace ah, yeah, 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 yeah. there are some people that came here with trotsky today in one month time you won't enter trotsky anymore in your life there are people that came from somebody's rented apartment in the next just 14 days as this mantle hits you you are moving from that rented place to your own place in the name of jesus therefore what is grace it is divine enablement it is the supernatural ability given by god for someone to do exploit listen carefully the supernatural ability given by god for someone to do exploit the difference between you and others is that they have something called grace that you don't have the supernatural ability so you can see grace in academics but sometimes unfortunately the people think that oh, they are just they are just, they are just good they are just good no 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 you are not just good you understand mathematics you are very good inside it's the grace of god because your own is more than what others have it goes beyond a certain limit it's the grace of god you see some people you drop them into any business breakthrough you see some people they are not all that educated but put them in more color they took over the place and educated men are saying what are they doing what are they doing it's the grace of god that is why today i don't care once you are in this auditorium whether you qualify or you don't qualify grace will hit you and change your life forever so paul said i am what i am by the grace of god i am this morning as i was searching my things i saw 2017 a prophetic word a man of god sent to me and then i don't know i just jumped on i read and as i read this is the, the man who used to teach me sunday school many years ago as i read i saw that all of them have come to pass and none of them came to pass because i had I added another certificate to what i have it is purely by the grace of god listen to him you did not come to a conference where they give certificate after the conference you came to a church where divine grace will hit your life and the results of your life is going to change so we understand that when god engraces you you do exploit what is grace it is an endowment upon us which others have labored for us to get so sometimes you see men that god have used 
giving them certain power when they impact it upon you it just changes your life elijah and elisha elisha was just a local farmer minding his own business and the bible said the man of god elijah the tishbite cast his mantle upon him my god the man left everything and followed him he was an ordinary person as he was even going four times the sons of the prophet said first stop following this man he's going to vanish and all your dreams will be dashed he said no and the man also turned, he said boy why are you not going to turn away he said no the bible said on the way going the man turned and he said since you have followed me so far what do you want god to do for you he said sir i want the double portion of the grace of god upon your life he said brother you have asked something very hard but if you see me going if you can stay one hour without sleeping or blinking your eye in this service my god something from heaven will drop upon your life and the bible said while they were going ah god took elijah by a wind and the man looked and he said my father my father and the mantle dropped and he picked the mantle the people were still watching we told you we told you the bible said he got to jordan when he got to jordan the jordan have closed and he lifted the mantle and he said where is the lord god of my father elijah and he swallowed up pass and the thing opened the same thing that opened for elijah open for elisha today by the prophetic mantle anything that answers to me when i speak it will answer to you when you appear anything that move when i speak will move when you appear in the mighty name of jesus and i release the mantle upon my life into your life into your business into your house and i command the shifting and the transformation and the move i will give the lord a shout of praise here. so when that thing drops on you i remember that lady came is from one of our charismatic churches he said something 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 i said sister go the lord be with you four days later sixty thousand boom grace is working i don't have problem with money i'm telling you true true and from today some of you that oil is going to come upon your life not from frying pan to fire some of you will leave this service your pocket will never be empty again your bank account will never be empty again your house will not be empty again receive that grace upon your life so we are here for impartation what is impartation let me try to define many things to help you impartation simply means to share grace to share grace or rich adam they used to sing a song maybe so so modo to partake of the grace on a higher vessel romans 1 11. he said i long to see you that i may impart unto you some spiritual gift i want to see you and today i want to see you to release upon you some spiritual gift so impartation simply means sharing grace sharing the divine enablement that god has given to a man of god he shares it listen to me i may not be a bit now listen carefully don't say the pastor is not a businessman listen this thing eh? this thing we do can affect anything <laughs> you heard the little girl say i'm not a lecturer but your essence results can change when we speak because you see everything answers to the power of god everything does what i cannot hear you everything does what everything does what i am not a psychiatrist but how can a handkerchief heal somebody who is mad of nine years ah every good and perfect gift come from above today anything that is not perfect in your life by the time the mountain hit you it shall be perfected in the name of jesus so impartation simply means sharing grace i long to see you that i may impart unto you some spiritual girl that will bring establishment in your life or the struggles you see impartation also means transfer of grace what god has given us we give it to others 
so that we can enjoy the same effect we can enjoy the same blessing so you can tap you can receive and you can operate in the same grace of other anointed men of god you can tap you can receive you can operate people have had countless dreams when demons came to pick them they said my man of god appeared and all the demons vamos my god graces philippians 1 7 say ye are all i know there are so many 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 people online and know we have about three million people following and now listen everybody that follows this ministry either in secret or in public every grace that god has given me today i share with you i share with you i share with you i share with you he said he said he said it's not me to think of you all because i have you in my heart in as much as both in my bones and in the defense and the confirmation of the gospel ye are all partakers of my grace ye are all partakers of my grace today every worshiper in the building whatever answers to me answers to you after the service and the purpose of transfer of spirit is just to enter into the labor of others to enjoy other people's labor if your father dies and he builds a house and leave it for you do you have to go and build another one no you just can say i'm a landlord but you have not built anything no you have entered into the labor of other if your husband buys a car and you just get the car key you drive without even buying fuel you have entered into the labor of others that is what it means you will enter grace impartation is when god organizes for you to enter into the labor of others john 4 38 this scripture is going to help you this scripture is going to help you everybody that has parents you enjoy free labor they build you enjoy sometimes your mother even cook it's not your money and you are still making selection i send you to read that whereupon ye bestow no labor other men labor and ye have entered into their labors you see many people want to struggle in life but today your struggle ceases now read it from the amplifier you are, you are going to understand it better so there are things you don't need to struggle that is why now listen to me all the parents here make up your mind that your children will not struggle the way you struggle because by the impartation the, your children are supposed to enter into your labor but if you don't leave every if you don't do anything then they, they just come to start over and over and over and over listen to me anybody who used to struggle when you were a child because your parents couldn't do much today a new grace will hit your life your children will not struggle the way you struggle i send you to reap for which you have not worked others have worked and you have been privileged look at it to reap the results of their work somebody will dash somebody a house in 2021 someone will drive a free car in 2021 somebody will get a free shop in 2021 i see 27 scholarships that students are just going to work into in 2021 so impartation causes you to enjoy the labor of others somebody just call you and give you iphone 11 you didn't buy the labor of others So this kingdom is not a kingdom of struggle, if people understand. But our biggest problem is the people that say Ubi and Yobi. Never mention that. Don't, never say that. That's why you see people talking against men of God. You see, the man you are talking against, if you even have a good feeling about you in his heart, he can change you. But many don't know it. Many, 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 many don't know. But thank God for revelation. That have come. The Bible says, in the days of ignorance, God winked at. Revelation that have come. Revelation that have come. Now, this grace I'm talking about has been given to men. It has been given to men. That is why your father can disinherit you. Your father can say, you, you because of the way you are, you are not going to be part. And then you have to start all over again. Listen to me. You will not start all over again. Today, 
you will enter into another man's labor. I just heard in my ears there is somebody here. Now listen to me. You are going to get specific 38 acres of land. 38 acres of land. It will happen suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. God has kept it, is waiting for you. Lift your hand and say, Lord, let me enter into the labor of others. Many of you, after this service, things that people have bought and they couldn't use, they will just release them for you. There are certain positions that God has reserved for you, and you enter by impartation. People will pay the price for you. You just enjoy the grace to get things done cheaply. When you are impacted, you walk in the same grace of a higher vessel. What obeys me will obey somebody today. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 9. Deuteronomy 34 9. And Joshua the son of Nun, look, look at it carefully, was full of the spirit of wisdom. Where did he get it from? For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him. Now, remember, the Bible said, God lifted Moses so much that the Israel hearkened to him. They heard him. Now, by impartation on Joshua, the people that listened to Moses listened to Joshua. Today, I decree, when I speak, sickness, listen. After this service, when you speak, sickness will listen to you. When I speak, poverty shift. After this service, poverty will shift for blessing to come into your life. Another thing we saw, 2 Kings chapter, chapter 2, verse 13 and 14. Elijah the Tishbite opened Jordan. Then he blessed Elisha by impartation. Now when Elisha also got to Jordan, he took also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him. And smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he has smitten the waters, departed hither and thither. What happened to his spiritual father also happened in his life. Now, how do I partake of the grace on a higher vessel? How do I partake? Now, this one I'm referring to myself. How do I partake of a higher vessel? Angels, angels have appeared in this church and they've given physical food to people. Listen, when you hear the testimonies about a man of God, it should tell you the category that he walks in. People have died 13 hours. We send oil to the hospital, they jump back to life. All kinds of miracles. We were here the other time. Somebody had brain tumor. Lay hands on his picture. Gave her communion. Two days later, the tumor disappeared. These are not ordinary things done in a clinic. These are supernatural giftings placed in a man. So this man carries something. So how do I partake of the grace on a higher vessel? Today what I came to do here is that the Lord said, when you come, whatever I put on your life, release it for the people. Take it one, take it two, take it three. Take it four, take it five. Now, many people have built houses in this church less than one year. Under one year, people have built houses. You will be the next in line for a miracle. People have got in cases that have been supernaturally canceled without explanation. How do I partake of the grace of God? Listen carefully. Only through sons and daughters. Can receive inheritance from their fathers. Only true sons and daughters are qualified to share father's inheritance. So you have to be a son. It doesn't mean I have to go to Kualebu and labor you. No. You, you, you may be far away, but by connectivity. Only true sons. When you, when, you, when, when you have a friend, a friend in a family and their father dies and they are sharing inheritance, they will excuse all the friends. They say, oh, please, um, uh, all the classmates, can you, this is a family meeting. Even if you were the funeral chairman and you are not a family member, they will excuse you because it's time to discuss inheritance. Eh? Don't just be in a church. Don't be a church member. We are not here for members. The church is a family. Be a son and a daughter of the house so you can share the inheritance that God gives 
to the head of the I, I hope you understand what, what I'm trying to say therefore what do I do see the carrier of the grace as a father so we are going to do impartation see the man of God as a father engage in a father who died you don't have an inheritance in a teacher or a pastor or a prophet you have an inheritance in a father Elisha did not receive the mantle because he followed the prophet because he followed the father I said my father my father so you can only share the DNA of your father Proverbs chapter 13 verse 22 this is a mystery you if you hear things you have never heard before take it like that and go home and investigate he said a good man leave that inheritance to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just when i visited one of one of my spiritual fathers and then they i was standing there and he came with a car and they opened and i said one day i'm going to drive the same car this man is driving it it has happened like pure water other men have labored just enter into their labor a good man leave inheritance for his children children may you not just hang around this place may you be a son and a daughter of the house all god sent prophets and men of god are sent as fathers to whosoever they are sent second kings chapter 2 verse 12 and 14. elijah saw it and he cried my father my father so engage in a father who time elisha was the spiritual father of even the king of israel second king 621 so the politician is not greater than the pastor yeah. <laughs> even if you are a chief you are not greater than your man of god and the king of israel said to elisha when he saw them my father the king called the man of god my father because he is a father because he's representing your heavenly father that's why those who are kind of cannot receive impartation because impartation is a spiritual thing so one of the things that god is going to do in these last days is to restore spiritual fa fatherhood to the church malachi chapter 4 verse 5 and 6 he said in the last days and remember we are in the last days in the last days i will send you elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful of the lord and what is he going to do he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers to their father least i come so wherever spiritual fatherhood is not recognized and respected there is a curse on the people that's what he said and we have even seen it in ministry young people who say oh i have my own original anointing and all of them have been dangerously destroyed those of you who have seen a mother hen before when we were young there was this bird called acroma he used to come and steal chickens the little ones and when the acroma is coming what is his english name the hawk you see that all the children run and gather under the mother hen and to open his feathers And then the the hawk will go but sometimes you see some of the children who have graduated they just decide that they are not going to run towards where the mother is what happens to them the hawk begins to pick them for lunch no devil will take you for lunch this year i release my covering over your life over your children over your family over your life i release that covering over your life So God is bringing the church to this knowledge. It is no more member, pastor congregation. Never so. Never so. It is sons and daughters. In every house, you have a father, you have a mother, you have. So the children must learn to give honor. So they can be a spiritual covering. And he says, God is bringing this revelation so that he can take away the curse so that impartation and graces can also be released so see 
the carrier of grace as a father. Number two, engage in heart to heart connectivity. Don't just be in the church. You know, when you are with your man of God and your heart is not with him, that is when, when you go and anybody is talking about him, you just join. You just say things that you don't even understand. You don't understand. Every man of God carries blessings and curses. Choose the one that you want to come upon your life. Position yourself. You must connect to your God-given father from your heart. Not lip service. Proverbs 27, 19. Don't just be around. Let your heart follow your father. Who carries the grace. So that the mantle of grace can work on you. Because grace does not work for hypocrites. If you are here, be here. Proverbs 27, 19. As in water, face answered to face, so the heart of a man to man. So, if you love the man of God with your heart, there is a spiritual connectivity. You may not say it. Somebody can be very close to the man. He's choking him at the back. It's not going to work for you. Heart to heart. You see, when, when you see a still water, you look through, you can You see, he's talking about reflection. Reflection. When you look through a still water, you can see your face. He's trying to say that the same way when your heart is connected to your man of God, whatever you see in his life, you are going to see the same thing in your life. Reflection. That is, I'm reflecting dangerously. Reflecting dangerously the grace of my spiritual father. No holy healer will look like a poor man again. No holy healer will die before his time again. No holy healer will be disgraced one time again. Every holy healer will gain speed in life. Speed in life. And listen to this prophetic word. Everyone here will build a house. Oh, I don't know how many people caught it. How many people caught it? Everyone here will build a house. And this year, many cars will be dedicated. Many cars will be dedicated. I am driving a car. You drive one. I have a house. You have a house. I have traveled abroad. I remove all the local barriers out of your life. This is what impartation means. You watch when they open their borders. Except you don't want to travel. But I command you to travel and see. <laughs> I open the borders of America. Other parts of the world. I open the borders. And I declare every child here will be highly educated. And when they go to school, they will do well. And they will do well. And they will do well. So, heart to heart connectivity. Don't just follow. You'll be talking, talking. Papa Debo here said, if your man of God says God bless you and you are cursing him in your house, the blessing returns back to him. Sometimes you wonder why people are close to you but nothing happens. Anytime I have opportunity to be in the, 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 in the face of a great man of God. Hmm. I had the privilege to enter into Bishop Oedipo's office. You know, I couldn't look at him in the chair because the, 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 I didn't want to miss anything. When I came back, I said, why did he look? The horror, the grace. Today, something will fall on you. Anybody that came here with any generational curse, witches and wizards in your family who are making your life, you are struggling, you are going through. I decree under this grace, all your curses will be terminated once and for all. Say heart to heart connectivity. Let your heart be here. Don't just, you come to church, you are standing somewhere, you are greedy, you are insulting the church, you are lambasting the church. Hey, no. You can never reflect the grace until there is a heart to heart. As in water, face answer to face. When you look through water, you see your face. It doesn't give you a wrong image. So the same way, if a man or a woman's heart can be connected to his man of God, whatever is happening in that man's life will begin to happen in that person's life. Glory to God. Key number three, honor the carrier of the grace. What you honor flows freely to you. What you dishonor, you cannot receive. First Samuel 2.30 They that honor me will be honored. They that despise me will be flushed out. First Samuel 2.30 30. Open your ears. 
They that honor me will be honored. They that is by, shall be lightly esteemed. Honor them with two things, with your prayers. When you pray for your man of God, the grace upon his life come upon you. You honor him with prayers. You honor him with offerings and seeds. Mark chapter 6 verse 1 to 6. Jesus went to his hometown. And the people couldn't receive miracles because they did not believe in him. Mark 6 1 to 6. Honor with your seed. Honor with your prayers. And honor with your compliments. Say good things. Say good things. Because, how, because of the reflection. Whatever you do to them also reflect on you. Today I pray for you that wherever you go. The honor that God has put upon my life, the same honor will come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Number four, quickly, follow him through your, his words. Follow him through, follow him through by listening to his teachings, reading his books and watching videos. Follow the man of God. Impartation. I was talking to Apostle Fifi the other time. I gave him a tape to listen. As we were listening to the tape, the one preaching stepped into his office. Life. By the time you open his eyes, the person has disappeared. These are spiritual things. The spirit of just men made perfect. Listening to your man of God. Through listening to his teachings, read the books, watch the videos. This simply means follow through their materials. Eh? Ezekiel 2 2. Ezekiel 2 2. Ezekiel 2 2. He said, And the spirit entered into me when he spake. So even as I'm speaking, impartation is taking place. Even as I'm speaking, impartation is taking place. Some of you, by the time we share the grace, you suddenly discover that the sickness that you brought to church has left you and gone a long time. The sickness is gone. One time I was reading a book. And as I was reading, an angelic being appeared to me in the room. And he handed over me a bottle of oil. He said, this is a receipt from Papa from today. Now, I was, I was reading a book of a man of God. And then, I was not sleeping, 7.15 in the morning. And then, an, an angel appeared with oil from the man. Since that day, I can remember. That is the day poverty left my house. Some of you today, as I'm speaking to you, Poverty is jumping out of the door. Sickness is jumping out of the door. Frustration is jumping out of the door. The ghetto life is jumping out of the door. Your car will be dedicated this year. Another time I pick a book about a man of God. The title was, um, the, book, the book was titled, yes, Signs and Wonders Today. Signs and Wonders Today. I took this book to Pram Pram Beach. And I was there for three days. It was a big book like this. And I was reading reading their testimonies, and I put the book on top of my head. I said, Father, I've been following this man. Therefore, whatever pertains to him pertains to me. Let all the testimonies in this book happen in my church. Today, it is happening more than necessary. But some of you, the book, eh? Chronicles of Miracles, Science and Wonders, you have to get that book. Chronicles, of, you say you, want, you need a miracle, but you have never read one book on miracle. Every day, Ghana News Agency, Ghana Upper Agency, Ghana, Kokoro Radio, and Tum Tum Radio, and Tatia Radio. How would you get a miracle? To receive impact, I can explain everything. There's nothing magical. I read this book and I, I put it on top of my mind. There is no one testimony in that book that I've not seen. Because when you follow through reading of books, now, look at what I'm going How many of you, by listening to podcasts, have had an encounter before? Oh, more than half of the congregation. More than half. It is a spiritual mystery that many people don't know. So as you listen, as you listen, impartation will take place. The spirit entered when he speak unto me. Now, the same way you can get it through reading of books, listening to tape, through the mantle, physical distance, impacted by the man of God too, a spirit can come upon you. So, the mantle is also another way to transfer grace. So, what is a mantle? It is the overflowing garment of a man of God that have contacted the anointing. It can be a cloth, it can be a handkerchief of a prophet. Grace, favor, and anointing works through the mantle. Acts 19, 11 and 12. 
Some people, you see some people, they go to some juju man. The juju man will give them something to come and hide it in their house. You don't need all this nonsense. What is that thing carrying? Now, God work on usual miracles by the hands of Paul. How? So that even handkerchiefs or aprons <laughs> were brought from his body to the sea. And then the Jesus left them. An evil spirit went out of them. Yes, me come. Look at something. You see? So, books, this, this. Now, this is what I'm wearing. I'm going to put it on this little girl. And, you see, it, it carries the transfer of the spirit. Father, anoint your daughter with the anointing that is upon my life. Give me the, give me the scene. So, leave her, leave her. So, when this grace, divine giftings, anointing, favors, that work with the man of God, when they touch a garment, it can flow into it. So the Bible said, God will work on usual miracles. Even handkerchiefs and aprons. I think you know what is an apron. Eh? Were brought to the, to the sick. Diseases left them. An evil spirit went out of them. Why? The grace, the anointing flow. Through the garment. So Andrew said, My mother will have glaucoma. You gave her a handkerchief. He placed it on her eye. Glaucoma disappeared. Why not? Now, it, 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 it is just like me, myself, laying hands. And who makes that thing to happen? It's not me. It's the God that sent me. God confirming the way with signs and wonders following. I don't know. We have a brother here called Wilson. You know, he comes to church here. His wife is in an orthodox church. So from time to time, the wife will visit us. And then, so the wife said, ah, what is all this about this mantle, mantle, whatever, whatever? Ah, you know, I don't want him. <laughs> so, the woman one day went to Koforudia to do some business. Was coming, suddenly discovered that the fuel in her car has gotten finished. She has no money. She has nobody to ask. Then she, I think, he opened the distance and he saw the mantle that the husband has left. He took the mantle, tied it on the damn mirror. And then he, he now remembered that his husband's church, there are miracles. <laughs> so, no fuel in the car. Drove me from Kofurudia to Accra. <laughs> Entered into the garage. Now, the husband was in the house. He heard the woman has come, but for about 15 minutes, she has not appeared in the room. And said, ah, what is happening? What is happening? When she got out, the wife was in the car with his two destined, thanking God and he said, Wilson, your God and this mantle business. It works. Today, it will work a miracle for you. There is a lady sitting here, one of my daughters, Traveling from one city of America to New York, and they announced in the plane that the tides are not coming out, and everybody started shouting. The lady opened her back, businesswoman, removed her mantle, and he began to shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You see, when people are desperate, tell anything you do, they'll believe. <laughs> Suddenly, the pilot gained control. He has already announced that, ladies and gentlemen, we are not, we are not landing. After the lady waved the mantle, one, two, three. He said, oh, he said, I don't know what happened. We have just gained control and we are landing. The lady sitting there. And the people in the plane rushed to her. Madam, thank you. Madam, thank you. Madam, thank you. We know it is your prayers. A certain gentleman was on Ethiopian Airlines going to one of the... 
program manager, and he had a mantle. The Bishop Ori Pope has given a mantle. And they announced that the plane was crashing. He took the mantle and tied it on his neck. The plane broke into two. Can you imagine you are sitting in a plane and it breaks into two? Everybody died, remaining one passenger, the guy with the mantle. Everybody died. He's called Afonso. He now lives in America. He tied the mantle at it and he shouted, The God of my father. Listen to me. Don't go and die some stupid devil. Don't go and die some ordinary death. There are kingdom mysteries. The gentle, he said, before my the plane broke into two. I was the only survivor out of 270 people. What I'm preaching is rather the Bible. The stories people are telling is not the Bible. If the stories are the Bible, many will not follow God. When you read this book, only unthinkable things. Why is it that now we want everybody to understand us? They can't understand. That's why the world is criticizing the church. How can you, Pastor? Somebody wrote this and say, God F, and then you pray, and then, uh, and, and then you pray, and you, you say that F has changed into A. BBJ Joe. Somebody is about to see a miracle that his eyes have never seen before. What is in the mantle? Quickly. Number one. The transfer of grace, anointing and favor is in the mantle. Some of you, the whole of last year, nobody gave you a gift. No favor. Second Kings 2, 4 to 15. When God was about to take Elijah, Elijah, Elijah followed. And the sons of the prophet said, this man will follow. He will suddenly disappear. He said, mind your own business. He followed and followed and followed and followed and followed. When we go to verse 9 and 10, he said, what do you want, oh boy? He said, I want the double portion of your spirit. He said, if you see me going. The Bible said, while they were talking, there was a Huawei. He hit Elijah. But he cried, my father, my father. Then the mantle fell. As soon as he took the mantle, the Bible said in verse 15, that he went to Jordan, divided Jordan into two. And when the people saw him, hey, they said, now look at it. When the sons of the prophets who were to view out Jericho, they said, the spirit of Elijah does rest upon Elijah. So through the mantle, the spirit upon me is about to rest upon you. It's about to rest upon you. If you are watching my television or internet, get a handkerchief because I'm going to release anointing into it right now. So there's going to be transfer of favor. How many of you want to be favored this year? Favor. We have many people here. They didn't apply to any, any office. The office called them. They are working there now. This is super much at it. So as far as your life is concerned, there is no closed door. Jesus said, I am the door. And so on this man today, every door that have resisted your advancement, I decree it opens in 24 hours in the name of Jesus. So transfer of grace and long things. Number two, what is in the mantle? Impossibility power. Impossibility dissolving power is in the mantle. Things that are impossible. When the mantle shows up, they dissolve. Mark 5, 29, 31. The woman with the issue of blood. He said he has gone to many, many, many places. Those of you who are sick. When the mantle touches you, you are going to be healed instantly. But the Bible said, he said, if I may touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Now, I like the way the Bible, the Bible put it. He said, he said in verse 29, and straight away the fountain of her blood, start from 28. Let's read some Bible. For she said, if I may touch his clothes, I shall be whole. And so he touched it. And immediately, straight away, straight away, are you waiting for your miracle in two months or you want it now? Somebody shall now. Immediately. <laughs> Jesus saw power. 
You see, virtue power left Jesus because a woman touch. When you touch, power will flow. When you touch, power will flow. When, let me tell those of you who don't like coming to church. Let me advise you. Let me tell you. You see, the things you are chasing after, eh? they all respond to the spirit. Why you don't want to come to church? They all respond to the spirit. So when your spiritual life is in shape, and I pity people that we have to beg before they come to church. Now sometimes, because I'm a pastor, I have to talk to you, talk to you, talk back. I dog you a long time. But you are, not going to, you are not going to bring me back. When I see you don't like spiritual life, I drop you. Because we see those of us who are in the realms of the spirit, go and ask the politician what they were doing a, a week or a month before the election. That's why you hear people say, they vote their thing in their spirit. Don't doubt it. Hmm? I am a man of God. I'm telling you, don't doubt. <laughs> don't doubt because people went to the booth to vote. When they came out, they voted for the wrong person. They cast a spell on you. Hmm. I know a head of state somewhere, somewhere. I'm not going to mention the name. He went to see a Babala. When he came, his mind went blank. He couldn't remember his name. He couldn't remember anything. Power. Be spiritual. There is nothing about carnality. When God blesses you spiritually, money will answer to you. Oh. It, will, it will look for you. That's I remember the Lord that God. It is He that gave the power. So it takes power for money to move. That's why some people are not educated, but they have money. So explain it. Explain it now. You say it's only school that gives people money. Explain it now. Power. Build your spiritual life. Don't play the time you used to come to church for other things you will think. I was here when one politician came. You know, they are not my friends. And I said, why? He said, somebody told me at the place that the way things are going, I, need a, 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 I also need somebody to pray my for me. Kneel down. <laughs> if I win, I will do it. I said, no, 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 don't make a problem. He won't. I have not seen him after today. <laughs> when I told him to kneel down, he kneeled down. So me and him, who has power? Wow. His own is four years old. My own will all be here. We enjoy the power together from everlasting to everlasting. May the Lord empower your life. When they gave my daughter Kakra the report, he said, I'm going to change this report. He called and said, They say we don't agree. We don't, nobody, it doesn't matter who gave us the report. We don't agree. In 24 hours, they change it. Power. Anything you don't like in this mantle service. Before this service is over, anything creating discomfort for you, I decree a change and a change and a change. I have one lady. He doesn't come to church here. He heard about the mantle and he sent me money. Bishop, I'm buying two. Please, 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 please. please. We don't sell things here. Gifts of God are not sold. So I sent her. She has a drawer where she puts her money. He put there this thing and put it in. He says, since I dropped this thing inside this drawer. Ay, 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 ay. Say, impossibility dissolving power. Every impossible case in your life. Today, when the mantle hits you, even if you are in court, the case will be decided in your favor. Some of you have gone to places, they've said no. Listen to me, tomorrow they will say yes. I didn't hear. I said tomorrow they will call you and they will say, they will say, they will say, give the Lord a shout. Of some political hooligans took over a church, went to Supreme Court, did some things. Wherever men are, they can be manipulated. Took over the church from one of my spiritual fathers. And when they told him, Papa, what are you going to do? He said, I won't do anything. He said, ah, they take it over the church. He said, I won't do anything. He said, the owner of the church can defend himself. 
the people took over the church. Somebody, you see, some foolish man. He went to stay where the church, he turned the church into his office. When God struck, <laughs> there was a certain village pa pastor who had no mobile phone. The Holy Ghost woke him up and gave him a certain number. He said, go to town and call this number. He didn't ask whose number is it. When they called, cri, 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 appeared in the presidency, president number direct. The president picked. He said, who is talking? Don't ask me who is talking. The Lord has a message for you. He says, you have taken something that belongs to him. If you don't give it back in seven days, your juju man will die. Thank you very much. He dropped the phone. Ah, who is this? The man was even so How did this guy get my number? Seven days later, the juju man died. Hey! Presidency is cut The president, they traced the number to where they called. They went and called the communication man. They said, today, if you don't produce the man, who came here to make the call? You are dead. Your mother is dead. All <laughs> your family members are dead. So they investigated that they brought the guy. So they asked him, who gave you the answer? Yes, I was money my own. I came to town to call. So he asked the why are you looking for me? He said, you said, man, did you man who died? He asked, I said, then maybe you are the next one. You are the next one in action. They went with that. This time, they didn't go to court. They returned every property back to the church. Number two, the man that had audacity to turn the church into his office died. He died in the office. Today, if I be a man of God, by this same oil upon my life, anyone trying to take what belongs to your family, anyone trying to take what belongs to you, I declare divine judgment in your house. I declare divine judgment in your house. Take your house back. Take your car back. Take your marriage back. Take your husband back. Take your course back. Take your scholarship back. Take your position back. Back, 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 back. Back, somebody shout, hey! What is in the mantle? We are closing. Those of you in the tent, the power of God is going to hit you there. There is healing and deliverance power in the mantle. Healing and deliverance. When the mantle comes, listen to me. If you are sick, you heard the testimonies. Tie it there. I'm not a healer. My father will confirm your faith. Mark 5, 29 to 31. The woman with the issue of blood, when he touched Jesus' garment, instantly healed. To that command every sickness, every pain, every infirmity that came to church with you, you will go home alone without your sickness following your back. That woman's son, mad, nine years, Madness disappear. What is in the mountains? Special miracle signs and wonders. Special miracles. Special miracle. Mm. As 19 verse 12. As 19 12. God roused special miracles by the hands of Paul. So handkerchiefs and aprons. So when the mantle is delivered to you, Expect miracles, signs and wonders. I carry, I carry the signs and wonders mantle of Bishop Bedepo. Life. Life. What is in the mantle? Finally, greatness and prominence. Somebody says, I'm tired of being a local champion. I'm tired. <laughs> Second Kings 2.15. Elisha, the ordinary farmer. Look at today I'm preaching about Elisha. He was a farmer. In the bush. When the sons of the prophets which were to view at Jericho saw him, they said, <laughs> The spirit of Elijah does rest on Elijah. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves. My God. They bowed. Now hear me. Some of you people have been mocking you. Because something happened to your business, something happened to you, your marriage has delayed. Some when you when you move, they wing their nose. When it is everybody who has been your mocker today, their mockery has ended in the name of Jesus. The people that used to mock at Elijah are now the ones who are bowing to him. 
I decree in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has ever mocked at your predicament, they will come to you and beg for forgiveness. Anything that makes you look like a question mark is about to change. I say it is about to change. I say it is about to change. Ah, the people who used to say, Who is that? They will now say, Prepare well, he is coming. No one can look down and spit again. No one can wing their nose again. Every lungulungu place where destiny has placed you, I decree you are coming to the top. You are coming to the top. You are coming to the top. Today, by the impartation to the prophetic mantle, you are going to experience supernatural turn around. Stand on your feet and give the Lord one turn and say, Father, I'm going to experience a turn around. Someone's car will be dedicated on Sunday. I personally have contacted a lot of graves. The grace of faith is on my life. The great, yesterday, last week I traveled, we all did this corona test. There was nothing. Listen, some of you have not met the number of people I've met. During the 40 days, everybody that came to say, I lay hands on them. Why the corona didn't enter me? I believe something greater. Tell your friend, I believe something greater. Tell him the corona that he's around, we know. But talk to the sick man and say, but you also have to know that even if you come closer to me, you can bring me down. Say, speak to that spirit. You can bring me down. We are wearing masks because yeah, they say we should wear. They say. Glory to God. But the secret is that everybody corona has visited you but the good news is that he came but he couldn't bring you down he couldn't bring you down and listen to me i declare today it can mutate into corona two corona three corona four corona five ah! we are serving a god who healed i cover you from top to hell with the power of god in the name of he said, if they drink any deadly thing. We lay hands upon thousands. Hugging people. How can you be a pastor? Somebody is hugging. You are dodging. You, you can do that, but I can't do that. So every pastor is corona prone. But we have drunk some burukutu. You know, I was thinking that it would be an insult for all the communion I've been drinking every day for this sickness to bring me down. It will be an insult upon the integrity of God. I got a gentleman there. He, he, he works in the corona zone. He said, Bishop, everybody in my office have gotten it, but I'm walking there briskly. Because you see, listen, you can't dodge it. You can't dodge it. But he can't enter and bring you down. He can, the devil can shake your boat, but to sink it, my God. Senepa, impossible. Impossible. And today, by the impartation, you are covered again, Corona 19, 2021, in the name of Jesus. I told them, my devil, leave us alone. We are not falling down as we are passing here. Trying to bring the fear back. I cover everybody here. Listen to me. From the gate of your house to the inside, inside. Because see, please let us face fat. Obi Anfana Santo, my main country in Listen, mommy and can Ukrainian yai agrodian. The sickness that is. Why are you going to dodge it? Hmm? Where are your marks? I'm not saying today I have two marks. Just to show example, I'm telling you. Because all men have no faith. But what I'm trying is that as a believer, what do you believe? And know you're more important. The sickness is everywhere. So in case it enters your house, 
will it bring you down? Say no. no. And what you don't know is that it has entered and entered and entered. You better thank God for the grace of God that has sustained you that you are still standing here. Better thank God. Better thank God. For the grace of God that has sustained you. And so I release the healing grace. The healing grace. The healing grace. Another grace that is coming upon you. Miracle signs and wonders. So when you get to a place where they say nobody can go, you say, no, I carry the grace of signs. And then the grace for prosperity. How many of you believe that that grace is working here? And this year the prosperity will be very fearful. Fearful. That lady got 60,000. This girl got 6,000 in account. Too. In this impartation, I also impart your bank account. I impart your Momo account. Uh, I believe, I want those who believe this nonsense. I impart your bank account. I impart your Momo account. Poverty flee from your house. Poverty flee from your house. Look at the overflow house. I put the overflow on the skip. Those of you sitting under the tent, I decree and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, you are covered. Poverty leaves your house today in the name of Jesus. How many of you are ready for impartation? Number one, it comes through spoken word. So anybody that heard me today, you are imparted with the grace for miracle signs and wonders. Ezekiel 2 2. Number two, by the laying on of hands. But today, maybe I'm not going to lay hands. And then number three, by prophetic mantle. By the prophetic mantle. How do you position yourself? Well, we are about to just enter into it. We have a few minutes to go. Number one, be thirsty. Be desperate. Be hungry. Don't take it as a normal thing. Be thirsty. In 2 Kings chapter 2. Verse 2, verse 4, and verse 4, and verse 6. Verse 2, verse 4, and verse 6. Second Kings 2. They told Elijah, go back. He said, I'm not going. Turn back. He said, I'm not turning. Your master said, no, no, it doesn't matter. I'm not turning. The man was desperate for power. <laughs> the sons of the prophet tried to sack him. He refused. Elijah tried to sack him. He refused. He was desperate. By the time we got to verse 9, they asked him, he said, double portion. Hmm. He said, I will pour water upon him that is tasting. Blessed are those who test and hunger for righteousness, they shall be filled. So be tested. If you are tired about the kind of life you are leading, be desperate for an encounter today. Somebody went to Ora Robert meeting. After the healing, he was a heal. He met the man of God at the car park. He said, Mr. Robert, Mr. Robert, I must be healed today. Robert said, hey, I am tired. Go and come tomorrow. He said, no, 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 no. He said, go and come tomorrow. I'm, I'm tired. I don't have faith to prove that. Please, I didn't say have faith. You do the praying, I will do the faithing. He lay hands. Pow! With the woman with the issue of blood, it was not Jesus' faith, it was the woman's faith. So number two, put your faith on the line. Put your faith on the line. You tell yourself, this diabetes leave me today. This joblessness, tomorrow I'm getting a job. This thing, these bad dreams, you tell yourself, put your faith on the line. Luke 145. Blessed is you that believe, for there shall be a performance. Don't believe. Believe it. I'm just a human vessel the Lord has sent me to come and present this mystery to you. He sent me to present this mystery this mystery to you he sent me to present this mystery to you if you believe luke 145 so be desperate for an encounter and then believe and then believe many years ago they gave me the tie of dr tl osborne i still have it hanging in my wardrobe my god my god i brought the tie to church people want to grab the tie into power the power said the man is dead but the ocean is still working because when elisha died and they buried him a group of people were going to bury somebody. They mistakenly cast the dead body in the circle part of Elijah. When the dead body touched the bones of Elijah, ah, the body revived. Listen to me. Elijah was dead. I'm not dead. I'm standing here in life. 
I'm standing here live. Today, by the impartation coming to you upon the mantle, by tomorrow, 7 a.m., you'll be telling a different story. You'll be telling a different story. Lift up your hands and begin to pray in tongues and tell the Lord what you want. Tell him, open your mouth. Tell him what you want. Come for sing me, open the heavens. New one. Front liners. Open the heavens. Yasmin couldn't survive the service. Open the heavens. Lift your hands. So we are catching him. He said, Lord, I must be healed. You want a husband? Tell the Lord, I must get it today. Pray with desperation. My promotion. That man troubling me. That contract. Lift your hands and begin to pray. We are going to distribute the mantles. My God, my God, my God, my God. Everybody stand up, pray. What do you want? Pray to God. What do you want? Lift your hands. Open your mouth and talk to God. Father, by the prophetic man. daughter was going to ask her about a testimony he had a certain medical condition and it was bad one of the Sundays I was holding one of the things that is on her and then I put it on her a condition that our doctors have satisfied Jesus. they put her on some dangerous medication she can't drive except Kakra help or Pastor Rams when I laid the mantle on her he fell under power he stood up that age long infirmity disappeared after today. My God. What I need is your faith. All things are possible with God. Somebody came here, you are sleeping outside. Today you won't sleep outside anymore. Your life and destiny will change. Lift your hands and worship the Lord for the miracles. Thank Him in advance for the miracle that is about to happen. Line up here, line up here. Line up here. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Angels are descending. 
Lift your hands. Begin to thank the Lord for your meal. There are students here. Your, your brain will shift. God is going to shift your brain. Lift up your hands. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ambromos and Ramakati and the Lemo Poro Cosia, Ivarabi and the Lemo Sata, Ramati and the Lomos, the Marandi and the Rocos, the Maranda, the Ramadabaya, how many need an encounter with the Holy Ghost? An encounter. Everywhere you are, those of you outside, lift your hands, the power of God is there. In communion. Those of you in the overflow. I need an encounter. Father, I'm the man to hit me. When you get a mantle, use it whichever way you want it. Finally, after you have used it to whatever, you put it on top of your head. Miracles are taking place. I want you to be serious. You got it to begin to speak. As I put this thing at my back, the pain disappears. The sickness disappears. Shaka Father, we release your grace. Take your mantle, Shagabando. Mambre Makatayana, Makatoya Mokaba, Mimbre Makata, Maroko Roko Toyanda, Rakatayaba. Father, we release the mantles for miracles, for signs and wonders. Go, 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 to be open. I command deaf ears to be open. I command bones to be readjusted. I command paralysis to leave. I decree miracle deliverance now. I command every devil. Lose your hold and go. As you apply the mantle. Come on in the name of Jesus. Yes Lord, come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of it. Deliverance is
is taking place. Miracles are happening everywhere. Miracles are happening everywhere. Miracles are taking place everywhere. Shakataya Marata. Mambre Mekata Brakataya. Receive your miracle, Rakata. Those of you watching my television, take your handkerchief. I did it. Give me this camera. Give me this camera. Give me a close camera. Close camera. Close camera. Where is the camera here? Where the camera here? Get a close camera, please. Shakata Rabakoski. The under the Mokosi. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak to everybody watching my television. I pray over your handkerchief. I pray over anything you are using as a mantra. Be here. Be delivered. Miracles are taking place. Receive your healing. Pastors, go, 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 go. Go, 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 be fast. Shaka Ramaka. Open your mouth and speak. Declare your miracle. Any miracle you need. Yeah, yes. Miracles are happening. Deliverance is taking place. Every spirit demanding you. I command it to come out of your body. Come out of your body. Come out of your body. Yes. Ashes and protocol move. Shagaba. Rababa. Yaraba no mo koto kota ya. Pastor, flow, flow. Those at the back are not having mantles. Somebody run there, run there, run there, run there. Shagaba. Come here. Father, every attack on my daughter. everywhere miracles are happening promotion open that door happening everywhere miracles are happening everywhere miracles signs and warnings everywhere miracles everywhere save the house Jesus save the house save the house lift that save the house lift that save the house on her family. Miracles are happening. Lay it on your head. Deliverance is taking place. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. 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 Miracles are taking place everywhere. Cameramen, make sure you concentrate on me, please. Miracles are taking place. Those of you watching in your house, I bless your handkerchief right now. I bless your handkerchief as you lay it on your head. Those of you watching in America, all over the place, take that handkerchief and I impart. Yes, yes, Lord. Miracles. Jesus. 
The Bible says, and demons came out of men. I command everybody that needs deliverance. I command evil spirits. Lord. Come out. Jesus. Come out. Yes. Come out. Yes, Lord. Come out now. Yes, Lord. Now leave. 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 Jesus. Yes. Yes. Curses have been broken. Jesus. Curses have been broken. Yes, Lord. Miracle job. Miracle breakthrough. The grace upon my Jesus. life for prosperity. Yes, Lord. Poverty. Leave. Jesus' name. Now I command every pain in your body. Every sickness. Yes, Lord. Somebody has a pain in your gum. Somebody has serious migraine. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Be here. Amen. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Instant miracles. Instant miracles. Instant miracles. Instant miracles. Every devil tormenting you. Come out, Jesus. By the count of seven. Some spirits are leaving some people so they can be free. Yes, Lord. Those of you not attend, get ready for me. One, come out, Jesus. Two, come out. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Number three. Let that spirit leave. Amen. Out. Out. Yes, you are going. Amen. Number four. Come out. Yes. Come out. Now. Yes. Now. Now. Amen. Now. Yes. Lord. Where I shall go. Jesus. Where I shall get out. Jesus. Anyone addicted to any kind of wrong lifestyle. Masturbation. Jesus. Spirit of lesbianism. Jesus. Any dirty spirit. Nicotine. Alcohol. Come out. Jesus. Go. Leave Jesus. Every dirty spirit. Spirit of failure and infirmity. I cause you leave your body. Yes. Yes, Lord. Miracles are happening yes, all over. Lord. Yes, Lord. All over the place. Sigi Managaya. Protocol, lift everybody on the floor for me. Matanya Maniaka. Mere Mamma Mramoko Sete. Sigma Ataka Tayama Rokoto. Yes. Bring him. Sakabarose. Maramandiano. Ebaraba Baba. Go 
The power of God is here. Miracles everywhere. Miracles. Leave that woman. Leave that woman now. Go. 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 Take her. Take her back. Take her back. Take her back. all of you. Lift your hands here. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we need the impartation of the Spirit. 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 We see miracles. 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 Everywhere. Miracles. Everywhere. Everybody lift your hands. The power of God is here. Lift your head up. Come on. Out. Leave it on the floor. Leave it on the floor. Lift your hands. Jesus, my God. My God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me. This week, every door that has closed against you. By this mantle upon your head, Jesus, I declare the door open. Yes, Lord. Deliverance is taking place everywhere. Deliverance is taking place everywhere. God. Anything they use to tie your destiny, mm. Mm. I command you loose. Jesus. This thing you are carrying upon your head. Whatever cannot destroy me will not destroy you. Amen. Whatever will not destroy me will not destroy you. Amen. Jesus. Some of you, your whole family is on fire. I send you back as a warrior. Yes, Lord. When you enter the house today, oh with your mantle, Jesus. the battle is decided in your favor. Amen. The battle is decided in your favor. Amen. Lift your hands. Oh. Thank God for your build. Thank you. Skadala Makatu God is giving people supernatural intelligence. Supernatural intelligence. Supernatural intelligence. Supernatural intelligence. Supernatural intelligence. Supernatural intelligence. Skadili Makata. This week, favor will chase you. Favor will chase you. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Some people have just gotten some miracles. You just have a testimony here. Mr. Thomas Moore, he said, I brought my son. He was sick. Right now, as I lay the mantle, it's now full of energy, full of energy. Hello. Is the person here? Online, wow. Online. People are getting online testimonies. Thank you, now check your body now. You brought any sickness to the church. Check your body. You are here. Come here. Jesus. Come. People are, let me take some three testimonies. Come, come quickly, madam. Run. Something happened to you right now. Run here. Run here. What happened to you, madam? Stand here. What happened to you? 
what happened to you quickly quickly so we can close quickly anybody testify come here Muscle pull about three months ago. Can you get a woman? I wasn't able to walk properly. You, you couldn't walk properly? Yes. But as uh, the mantle was giving us, I just tie it over here right now. And, move and the muscle pull has disappeared. Yes. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Yes. My God, my God. Miracles are happening everywhere. No, Daddy, Keep on checking your body. You are healed. Something happened to you. Daddy, our sister came in with a gum pain. A gum pain. You mentioned a gum pain. A gum in a the gum pain. pain. Yeah. How do you feel now? There is no pain. There is no pain. Check the place carefully. Put your camera on here. There's no pain. You came here with a gum pain. It has disappeared. Give the Lord another shout of praise right now. Young lady, what happened? Well, I was having ulcer. Um, when he came, I didn't have comfortability in me. I had this kind of back waves and back in me. But now I can see there is a movement in me and I'm here. Gee, everything has disappeared. Yes, Why are you crying? I really just it took me so much to I have scholarship. I've been ruled. I'm, I'm done. I've qualified all what I wanted to be in future. It's working in me now. How many, how many years have you suffered this thing? <laughs> It happened last year recently. I think a friend gave it to me. I don't know. I used to have this close friend. She used to deceive me. But close Give the Lord a shout of prayer. Oh, Jesus. My God. Miracles are happening everywhere. Please, I've been having ulcer for the past years. And then you, you, you've been having what? Ulcer, stomach ulcer. For, for how many years? In 2017, so now. Three years. Yes, but then it went, so I don't know. This week, all of a sudden, it started coming in my chest. In your chest? But right now, I feel okay. Like when you lay the mantle, you feel okay. No. <laughs> what? what happened to this one? Sister came to church, her nose were blood. Your nose were blood. But right after the ministration, her nose have opened. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Last two, last two. Those of you online, you can send your testimonies, please. You can send your testimonies. Daddy, our sister here is that she, there's Let's a powerful ahead. testimony here. She has been suffering from pain in the tummy pain in the for tummy. about three days now. But as she entered the auditorium and received the mantle, the pain has disappeared. Hallelujah. Jesus. Daddy, for some weeks now he has not been able to turn the you head, couldn't lift your but hands. now he could lift it. But after you lay the mantle, the pain is gone. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Mr. Moore, God bless you. Those of you watching online, you can send your testimony to Bishop Sam and they say we are going to read it. She, he has been suffering tooth pain for about two weeks now. You also have this kind of pain. As soon as he laid the mantle on that area, the pain, the disappeared. pain has disappeared. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. That is, she had an operation. operation Give him pen to write the testimonies online quickly. She had an operation at her left breast and she was the right the breast. Right breast. And she was having some uh, pain over there. There was, there was a lamb, and they removed it. They remove it. Let her talk. The they removed the back. lamb. The lamb and came back. To go for another operation. You have been right for... now, when I got the mantle, I placed it there. Now I can. That the thing is gone. <laughs> Bow. Daddy, let it go. Let it go. Our sister has received instant healing in her throat. She had pain in the throat, but as she laid the mantle on herself, that pain has disappeared. My God. <laughs> Severe migraine has been disgraced by the power of severe God. Severe migraine disgraced by the power of God. Be healed. My God. Severe headache and malaria just left this brother. Be healed. Thank you, Jesus. Quickly, quickly, quickly. So we can wait. Those of you watching my television got a testimony. God, Mark also for seven years has been disgraced. Stomach by the also power for of seven God. years. <laughs> Jeez. Stomach ulcer for brother, seven years. Brother, Stomach ulcer seven years gone. Our brother was suffering from back pain for the past one week, but now back pain Heal, Jesus. Thank you. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Let's close. Lift your hands. The rest of you can write your testimonies and let us have the online testimony. Our brother has been involved in masturbation for five years and masturbation of pornography. Wow. But as you ministered, he felt something leave his body. Lift your hands. Did you feel something left your body? Yes, yes. That spirit of shame is gone. Out, oh, Jesus! Wave your hands and thank the Lord. No. Wave your hands. Wave your hands and thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands. Many of you will have testimonies as the week go by. Clap your hands and thank Him. Lord. Send a mantle to Lord. If you have a testimony, 
the testimony team is there. They are going to write everything. Lord. We are going to read your testimony. Give the Lord a bigger shout of praise Lord. and take your seat. Wow. 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 The Bible said, and the seed shall be prosperous. Everybody take your offering. Take your offering. Many of you, when you go home, you are going to meet a different story altogether. I see 200 people here receiving a phone call. After you dropped the phone, you began to dance and started dancing and started dancing. Are you part of the 200 that are about to receive a phone call? Receive it in the name of Jesus. Lift your offering, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to give a good offering, a shaky offering that can change your life. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Sharabakataria Mokoto. Simaniano Mokotoni Mano. Sile Mokosi Karakatiara Katariamo. Inaniano Mosekele Mahandos. Thank you. As a prince, I'm not supposed to mention this. this name. Yes, yes. No, no, but my time is going. I'll just mention it. We have some weddings. Um, James Akofol and Gifty Edu, Che and Sylvia, Blay and Priscilla, Daniel and Rose, Masilona and Gifty, Sami and Augustina, Bismarck and Abigail, Victory and Christiana. How many weddings? Eight. <laughs> wow. Should I show them right now? Mama, I'm talking to you. No. <laughs> As you show them. Okay. Wait. I'll call them. Okay. Uh, the next week one. Um, is that Gifty Edu? Which one is doing next week? Jane. Okay. Next week, marriage person. Where are you? You know yourself. Oh. Wow. You are also next week. You next week Saturday and next week Sunday. Glory to God. Clap your hands for more weddings are coming to the church. So check their face in case they come to propose to you. You know that they are already married. We have eight. We will introduce them gradually. God bless you. My time is fast spent. I want us to close quickly. Okay. Give your offering. And now, for all these things to continue to work for you, the mantle does not work in the hands of sinners. When Gehazi took the mantle, it didn't work because he was Kushini pastor. It doesn't work for fake men of God. So if you are here, you are not born again. Before this service closes, I want you to give your life to Christ so the mantle in your hands can become an effective mantle. It doesn't work in the hands of those who are not born again. TV no been a ton and saffron. You came. Those of you watching my television as I do the altar call, you join us. We have five minutes to go. And so you are here. You are not born again. What a blessed day to be born again on a mantle day. What a blessing. You are under the tent, you are inside the auditorium. Unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Some of you too used to go to church. You have stopped for a long time. You need to reconnect so the river can continue to flow. You are here. You want to say, Pastor, pray for me. Today, I want to make Jesus my Lord and personal Savior. Wherever you are, I have a special gift for you. Lift up your hands. I want to see you. God bless you. God bless you. Somebody invited you to church. You want to give your heart to the Lord. Stand up and come to me. Come to me here. Those of you who are outside, come. Come under the tent. I want one pastor to go under the tent and welcome those people for me. And now, Pastor, oh my, yes, you me, Canebra, true me, cap. You mountain the fruit, you know, true me, cacao. Run, 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 run. And now, be invited. Oh, yesterday, somebody invited you. You receive a phone call. I'm going to call the foul. Oh, she's a tent, and I say, Oh, she's a true baby, oh, be a run and come. Run, run. Holy hell, will you put your hands together as we welcome our brothers and sisters as they are coming? More of them are open the door. Those from outside are more. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yes, can my choristers help me to clap our hands for our new covert? Wow. I want to thank God for all the soul winners who are always on the foot of harvest. God bless you. You used to go to church, you have stopped. You, are st you don't say you are a believer. Don't quote your grandmother's church. Because your mother used to go there. You are not born again. Run. Run. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Yes. Today is a special day. Lift up your hands. Now look at me. I give you only three months. If you come to church consistently, leave the world behind and follow Jesus. There's nothing in the world. In the world, you'll be destroyed. Come to Jesus. I used to hit my head on the floor. Come to Jesus. We are told of a gentleman for 22 years, he will eat and vomit the food and eat it back. 22 years. That was the affliction on his life. The devil is wicked. If you stay outside the church, he will afflict you. Lift up your hands. Those of you standing here, pray this prayer after me quickly. Say, Jesus, Jesus, I come to you today. I come to you today. Please, please save me. Save me. I open my heart. I open my heart. I receive you, I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Lord and personal Savior. Father, Father from, today, from today, wash away my sins, away my sins with, your blood. with your blood. I believe you died for I me. Believe you died for and, me. I and I declare, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I'm, born again. I'm born again. My sins are forgiven. My sins are forgiven. I'm, a child of God. I'm a child of God. I will serve you, I will serve you all the days of my life. All the days of Satan. Leave me, alone. Leave me alone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For saving me. For saving me. Amen. Amen. If you lift, hey, please lift your hands very clear. Please follow these two gentlemen. I've given them a gift to give to you. So follow them. Follow them. Church, let's clap our hands. Follow them. Follow them. That's, that's the reason why we are here. Follow them. God bless you. All the beautiful sisters. God bless you for giving your heart to the Lord. Your life and destiny will never, never, never be the same. Be the same. Be the same. Chet, can you help me clap? Let's welcome our new converts. God bless you. God bless you. Anybody clapping $100 free, angels are giving it to you. God bless 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 you. Wow. God bless you. This is what sparks joy in heaven. God bless you. Wow. Wow. I'm so excited when I see souls. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Some of you are here. You came to visit us. You came to this church for the first time today. Let me see you by hand. I have a gift for you for the first time. You have not entered. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. God bless you. Oh, wow. I want to pray for you. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. My ushers are going to give you a gift. Stand on your feet. Okay. Can you see me? Can you see me? But I can see you. Can you see me? Lift up your hands. I want to pray for you. Today is your first time entering. Now hear me. God is here. Nobody ever visits God and go home the same. I pray that God will give you a miracle you will never recover from. Father, heal their bodies. Bless their businesses. Bless their families. Anything troubling them, I declare your blessing cancels every curse that follows them. The name by next week, give every of them that visited us a testimony. And if they have no church to fellowship, let them make this place your house. I declare you blessed because you came to church. In Jesus' name, may the Lord cover you. In case you don't have any church, please join this family and your life will never be the same. God bless you. We are happy to have you. We'll be happy to see you Tuesday and Sunday again. God bless you for coming. Church, clap your hands for all our brothers. Okay. We are closing. You want to give your tithe, your pledge, you took an envelope by the grace of God. God has granted you favor. You have the seed. Make your way to the altar. God bless you as you bring your tithe, as you bring your, your, your pledge. If you have, you, 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 you have made God. You, have you seen the way people troop to the front? That's how prosperity will flow in this church. If you come here and you are poor, the poverty will live. The poverty will live. Kennedy, Kennedy, wait for me after the church. The poverty will live. God bless you. As people flow to drop their tithe, 
That is how prosperity flows in this church. Poverty can survive here. God bless you. Take the mantle. Don't use the mantle to blow your nose, please. It's not a, a blow a nose. Keep it. Hang it in your car. Put it in your bag. Anything happens. A brother was accosted by armed robbers. There was a mantle in his bag with 10,000 Ghana City. I, iPad, iPhone. When they opened the bag, the bag was empty. Why? The mantle has covered everything. Armed robbers took the bag. They said, Kwasia, una maya Meanwhile, everything was in the bag. They couldn't see it. Yes. Wherever you go today, even if they chew human beings, they cannot chew you. I bless you. I want to see everybody on Tuesday. On Tuesday, God has given me a special message. Everybody ought to hear that message live. So Tuesday, every holy healer, even if, even if you are a visitor, I'm inviting you this Tuesday. We are going to share a special revelation. Six to eight is a communion service. And then everybody goes home make sure if you are here you join our cell meetings and if you have not been baptized go to foundation school and you will be baptized you will be baptized i have some pastors that we want to add but we'll do it in the second service because our time is past 30 minutes wherever you are sitting lift up your hands lift up your hands we are about to share the grace my time is 10 30 i don't know about your time lift up your hands and let's share the grace May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Shake your sister and say, I'm waiting for your testimony. <laughs> God bless you. Those of you who came for second service, we will, we will continue. Where is the choir? Sing for 10 minutes.